no multiplayer, no microtransactions. On November 15th of this year, Respawn Entertainment will be rolling out its latest creation, set to take place in the Star Wars universe entitled Jedi Fallen Order. Today at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago, we were given our first in-depth look at what's to be expected from the new game. In Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, players will find themselves in the role of a brand new Force-using Padawan named Cal Kestis, exploring new planets and locations, on the run from the Empire and the new villains sent to exterminate him and any other Jedi that may remain in the galaxy after Order 66. The story's main hero is portrayed by Gotham's Cameron Monaghan, who seems to be laying low within the seedy underworld of the Star Wars galaxy, to avoid being taken out by the Empire for his ties to the Jedi Order. Cal begins his journey in a scrapyard on a planet called Bracca, where he makes a living cutting apart decommissioned Star Destroyers. An accident at the worksite forces him to use his Force powers to save a friend, which reveals him to be a Jedi in training, and therefore subject to Emperor Palpatine's Order 66, the extermination campaign against the Jedi. That sets Imperial Inquisitors after him, including a new character named the Second Sister. The Inquisitors and Purge Troopers she leads have actually been shown before. In issue number 19 of the Darth Vader Dark Lord of the Sith comic book, published just last August. According to Stig Osmussen, the game's creative director, this is an action melee game. You play as a Jedi on the run, in training with a lightsaber and force powers. We made sure that the combat is something that is easy to pick up, but also, if you put a lot of time in, you can master it. We call the combat in the game, Thoughtful Combat. You have to size up your enemies and exploit their weaknesses. On Friday, Respawn founder Vince Zampella declared that Jedi Fallen Order is a single-player only narrative, with no microtransactions either, something of a throwback against the current AAA trend of open-ended games with elaborate multiplayer components. This is a Jedi fantasy story, Zampella said at today's panel. I think we're known for being multiplayer shooter guys. That's not what this is about. A notation seen at the end of the trailer said it was rendered with Epic Games' Unreal Engine, and not with EA's proprietary engine Frostbite, which has worked well for shooters made by EA DICE, but less so in games made by Bioware, such as Mass Effect, Andromeda, and more recently, Anthem. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will launch for PC via Electronic Arts Origin Service. Pre-orders for all platforms are being taken now, extra cosmetic content being offered as an incentive. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will be available on November 15th, 2019 for PlayStation 4, Windows PC, and Xbox One.